Uh, hi everyone, uh, and uh, welcome back to uh, these practice problems. Uh, today I would like to continue with KCL and KVL, but this time I'd like to handle the uh, current source. How we will approach a KCL KVL problem if we have current sources, not voltage sources like the previous example. Okay, so there are certain things common regardless if you have uh, if you have current sources or voltage sources which is try to reduce the circuit apply current to every branch that has a resistance uh, apply the voltage polarity as per the passive convention so these are common steps but as we mentioned last time that if you have a voltage source in your circuit this voltage source if it's connected to a node do not apply KCL to that node. Why is that? Because to apply KCL, you have to assign a current here to the voltage source. And this will complicate the problem. How? You are adding an equation, but you are adding another unknown. So you are increasing the size of the problem. In a very similar way, in uh, when you have a current source, do not apply KVL to a branch that has a current source. Why is that? Because again, for example, this current source, you have to assign a voltage to it, like V1, V2, because the voltage is not known, okay? So you are adding this loop equation. However, you are adding another unknown. So again, you're increasing the size of the problem and you don't need to do that. So. Let's see how we'll handle uh, this, uh, this, this problem, okay? So this is, as I said, do not apply KVL to a branch that has a current source. So let's do whatever we uh, learn to do. So I will assign currents. This is I1. This is I2. And this is I3. And in this question, you want to find this V. We mentioned that the main outcome of KCL, KVL is to find the current in every branch that has a resistance. This is the objective. Okay, then after that, I will see what is the question is asking me to do. And then we can find all the requirements in the question. So I have here one, two, three currents. That's it. These are the branches with the resistors. So I should be able to solve this question with KCL and KV, KVL. And since we have three unknowns, then I will need three, three equations. So let me identify the node. So this will be one node, node number one, and this node number two, and the bottom one is node number three. Oh, this is one node, okay? So I will apply KCL to node number Number one, as I mentioned before, the way I apply it, current enter the node equal to the current leaves the node. So we have the one amp enter the node. So it, this is equal to I1 plus, plus I2. And I can represent this in terms of I2. So your I2 is equal to one minus minus I1. And this is my first equation. I will apply KCL as well to node number number two. In, no, in node number two, I1 enter the node, I3 and the four amp both are leaving the node. So we'll have I1 equal to I3 plus plus the four amp from this, I can put the currents in one side. So you will have I1 minus I3 is equal to four. And this is no question about two. Now, as I mentioned in the previous question, once you have more than one loop, you cannot solve the questions using only KCL or only KVL. You have to combine. So now this node number three, if you try to apply KCL and you can try this, you will get an equation that is combination of one and two. Okay, so try this and try to find this equation. You will find it is exactly the combination of equation one and, and two. So I need a KVL now. And in KVL, I have only one loop. 
Why is that? Because this branch has a current source. I will not apply KVL to it. And this branch has also another current source. So the only uh, the only loop that I have uh, or I can apply KC, uh, KVL to it is the is the middle is the middle loop. This loop actually. And as we agreed, you assume that you are here, you are taking a, a round trip, and then you are collecting the, the voltages, and you start with the polarity. Now, uh, now the current I1 will have plus minus polarity, I3 plus minus polarity, I2 plus minus polarity, okay? So we use Ohm's law to find the voltages. Forget about this voltage. We'll not look into it now. So I1 times 6. So I will apply KVL to loop number number one. So this is the loop. This is the only loop I can apply KVL to it. So we'll have six times I1 ohms low. This is the voltage here. You go. You see plus first. So we have plus seven times I3. Continue. You will see the first thing you see is negative. So minus 2i2 is equal to 0, and this is equation number 3. Now, at this stage, the electrical engineering part finished. Now is math. So solving three equations with three unknowns, okay, that's, this is all you need uh, to uh, do. So what I can do, I can substitute, I will substitute 1, in three why is that to eliminate i2 and then i will have two equations in terms of i1 and i3 only so i will just substitute this value of i2 here so this becomes 6 i1 plus 7 i3 minus 2 i2 is what 1 minus i1 1 minus i1 equal to equal to zero so 6i1 minus 2 times minus i1. So this is plus 2i1. So this will lead to 8i1. And then plus 7i3. This is minus 2. I will take it to the other side. So this is equal to 2. And this is my fourth equation. So I have this equation. And I have this equation. I will write this one here beneath it. I1 minus I3 is equal to 4. This is my second equation. So what if I multiply this equation with 7? Why? To eliminate I3. So I will multiply this equation times 7. So this 7 I1 minus 7 I3 is equal to 28. Okay, so this is your two hat. Now I have this equation and this. If I add them, I will have 15i1. So we will add. You will add. Add what? Add equation number. Uh, uh, this equation, equation number 4 plus 2 prime. So what you will have? 15i1 and 7i3 will cancel with minus 7i3 is equal to 30. So from this, your i1 is equal to 2 amps. Now, what I want to find in the question, I want to find v. But what is this v? v is clearly is equal to 6 times i1. So it's equal to 6 times i1, which is 2, 12 volt. And I will stop it here because I don't need to find I2. I don't need to find I3. If I want to find something else related to I2 and I3, I will go and I will, uh, I will uh, proceed. So this is the strategy how to approach a question that has a current source. Next, we will have both now. Current source in independent, a voltage source independent, and I will see how we'll apply everything we learned about the strategy of handling uh, KVL and uh, KCL question.